Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube, and we've got another roundup this week. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos coming from both Patrick and myself. With that, let's dig in. Megan Longoria's got a blog post about her thoughts on Power BI Embedded coming out of a proof of concept that she worked on. I'm always interested in other people's thoughts about how they use a given product or what their perception is of that product and how it's used. And I really appreciated the comments that she had in this blog and you might find them useful. So my takeaways are first she mentions something about the documentation, that it's a little scattered or mixed in together. And this is something that we struggled with very early on. Uh, it's still something we discussed today of how to improve it. And it's going to be something I'm going to have more conversations on because it is something that's very near and dear to my heart. She also calls out some things that are different, but maybe not so different between the service and Power BI Embedded. RLS, real level security, is one of those items. And she mentioned that, look, it just works the same way that it does in the Power BI service. And that's really the goal of Power BI Embedded. So check out this blog post. Links are down in the description below. You can find all of the items that she calls out and her thoughts on that POC that she worked on. Check it out. Mike Carlo over at Power BI Tips is introducing an item that they're calling Lingo. I talked a while back about how linguistic schema is now available inside of Power BI Desktop that came out with one of the latest releases. And as part of that schema, what Lingo does for you, think of it like an editor and it can help you shape that linguistic schema file. So if this is something you're interested in, if you're working with Q&A, if you wanna use the linguistic schema to actually enhance the output of Q&A and to kind of train Q&A, you can go check out Lingo and see if it may help you build that linguistic schema for use inside of your Power BI desktop file. It's a pretty cool tool. He's got a video that walks through how to use it and I'll have that linked up above and you can go check that out as well. Do you like using regex? Yep, I just said that. Regex is something that makes my head hurt from time to time. But if you enjoy it and you've wanted to use it with Power Query and Power BI, Imka Feldman's got you covered. She posted a blog post where you can actually use JavaScript inside of your M syntax and use regex inside of JavaScript. So it's layers. But this is kind of a neat technique if you've actually wanted to use regex inside of Power BI. There's a way you can do it from a JavaScript perspective. Check it out, play with it. Let me know if it's useful. Links for this item along with all the items in this roundup and some bonus items, as always, down in the description below. Go check them out. The Data and BI Summit over in Dublin, Ireland was happening this week and Rui Romano had a talk about Power BI tips and tricks. He shared out his slide deck that he used. This is not a slide deck that's gonna go into like a deep dive of all of these items, but he's just got a bunch of things that you may find useful and just tips for how to use or things to do inside of Power BI that you may not have been aware of. So I thought I would share that out with you. I found it kind of interesting. So be sure to check that out and see if you learn anything. I mentioned the Data and BI Summit over in Ireland and Reza Rad's got a blog post where he looks at some of the new things that are coming down the pipe for Power BI that were discussed at this summit. This includes incremental refresh. It includes the new CDSA service that's coming. So check it out if you wanna see some of the highlights of what happened at the summit and some of the new things that are coming. All right, what was your favorite item? For me, I've gotta go with the Lingo tool from Power BI Tips. I think that is a really creative thing to do and something that I think people will find useful if they're trying to create that linguistic schema. So good job, guys. But I wanna pass it off to you. What was your favorite item? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.